people ask me all the time, like, why do you do it? Why do you consistently share posts about biblical truth? Like, why do you feel the need to encourage people in that area or encourage people with that particular subject of choice? Well, I believe that I have been called to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Any of us who call ourselves a believer have been commissioned to share the good news of Jesus Christ with the nations. That's with people right in front of us. That's with people at our workplace. That's with people in the grocery store. That's with people at the school game. Like we're called to share the good news everywhere. But I believe that the Lord has called me specifically to share encouraging words, to help people get unstuck. Why? Because. I know what it's like. Listen, I lived many years stuck, trapped. I mean, I felt like there was nothing going to change and that I was always going to be the same person. Things were always going to be negative. I would always have these bad situations or circumstances or these bad people in my life and there was simply nothing that I could do about it. And that is so far from the truth. So I believe that I share these messages with people because I just want to share hope with people. I want you to know that things can change, that things will change, and that you have control, more control than you think over certain situations and aspects of your life. No, you're not in ultimate control, but... There are things that you control by the decisions that you make, by the choices that you make, by the people that you choose to do life with. Those are choices and decisions that you absolutely get to make. So that's why I share this information with everyone because I lived stuck for the first part of my life. I mean, I lived stuck for like 25 years. And it wasn't until I came across this cassette program called The Psychology of Achievement by Brian Tracy. I literally bought it for a couple bucks at a Goodwill store. It was when I was in college and yes, I was searching, but at that time I didn't really know what I was searching for. I was just searching for a better way of life. And thank the Lord, I came across this program that I could afford and it just radically changed my life. I'm so thankful for the grace of God, for his mercy to put that program in front of me and then to give me the discipline to actually listen to it like multiple times. I still have it upstairs because it's such a reminder to me of the pivotal point in my life when things started to change. So after I got into the self-help market, I really was at an awe of how these people claimed that they could change your life by changing the way you think, by changing the way that you saw life. And it did work for a time being. I mean, it worked because we do have a will. And we can use that will to make choices, to make decisions, to enrich our lives with good programs and good information and surround ourselves with good people. But that could only take us so far. So I was in the self-help market for about 12 years and things did change. Like I did experience positive growth and positive change in my life. And I kept at it and kept at it until I just hit a roadblock. Like I literally could not do anything else for myself. I had come or gone as far as I was going to go on my own and in my own strength, doing things in my own way and at my own leisure, but also using the programs and courses that I thought was going to continue to build me up that was going to take me to this next level and I hit a wall I just ran myself dry I had nothing left 
to give. I had read all the books. I had studied all the courses. I had accumulated some assets and life was okay. But I felt like it just hit a plateau and I just couldn't move any further. So one day in my frustration, I guess, I pulled this book off my bookshelf called The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. That book had sat on my bookshelf for probably five years, but I was just drawn to it that day. And I opened that book, I could not put it down. That book was the missing piece. That book explained God and his word and his transforming power to renew us and just take us beyond what we thought we could even reach. Take us beyond what we thought was even possible for ourselves. And that's what the Lord has done for me. Now I've been following the Lord for probably 20 years and I do not feel like I'm slowing down at all. I do not feel like I've hit a plateau. Like I just feel like there's so much more with God. Like there's so many more places that I can go. There's so many more people for me to meet. There's so many more Bible verses for me to memorize. There's so many more Bible studies for me to go through. Like the possibilities with the Lord are endless. We know that scripture says that God is the God of the impossible. And he does impossible things in our life in in our inner being that we could never do on our own and that nobody else could ever do. You know, people might offer you lasting change. You know, they offer you these programs that will take you to the next level and hey, they might take you to the next level. I mean, I went through a lot of classes that took me to the next level, but nothing ever filled me in a way that God's word did. Like nothing ever made me content like a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ has. I have so much contentment. And right now I'm working on lots of things. Like I'm very active in my church. I work full time. I have two teenager kids. I have a husband. I have a dog. I have a house to maintain. Like I'm very active and I still just want to give back out of the overflow of my heart out of the abundance that the Lord has given to me. Back when I was struggling and trying to use my will and just get by and get through, I was not content and I was really not in a happy place. I read back through my journals and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you poor thing. Like I was just so frustrated with life. I was so irritated with where I was at after I had been through all these courses, I had done all these things. I had listened to all the people who promised to take me to that next level, who promised me success in wealth and significance and maybe even fame. Like I literally thought that I was going to be the next internet millionaire and I just think back on those days and how miserable I was. And you know, I wasn't broke at the time and I'm not broke now, but I have come to learn that money will not satisfy you. Yes, we need money to live. Yes, we need money to pay our bills and to get gas and to get food, but we do not need money to make us happy. We do not need money to make us significant or important. Like lots of people have money and lots of people are unhappy. It's because they don't have that deep inner peace that only a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ can deliver on. Listen, he can deliver on his every promise. He is more than you could ever imagine. He will take you farther than you ever thought you could go. He is the God of the impossible. He is the God of overflow. He's the God of abundance. And when you get into that intimate and personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be complete. You will be whole. You will be filled from the inside out. And you will want to give back out of that overflow, even when you have a full plate like myself. 
but I really enjoy this and I just hope that my listeners are enjoying this as well. I hope that you're getting something out of it. I mean, please leave me a comment so we can have a discussion about this and just give me some feedback. I also have a link down below where you can sign up for my newsletter and get three free poster flyers things that is for your mind, body, and soul. One has scriptures on it for your mind, one has scriptures on it for your body, and one has scriptures on it for your soul. Because I just believe that God created us, mind, body, and soul, and he wants all of us, everything inside of us to be complete. And scripture is the only way for us to live in that completeness. The scriptures are alive and active and they renew our mind and they transform us from the inside out. So that's what I have for you today. I just really pray that you're getting something out of these videos and that you are interested in building your own relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ because that is what is going to radically transform your life and take you to the next level. Like I can just share the information with you on how God transformed me, but I can't transform you. I can't do the work for you. I can't memorize scripture for you. I can't do the Bible studies for you. I can't pray and spend time with the Lord for you. You have to do that for yourself. So I just want to encourage you that when this video ends, that you would just take the next step. Take the next step in your relationship. If you know the Lord Jesus Christ, then take the next step and memorize a scripture. Memorize a promise that he has for you and begin to live that out. Begin to pray it and confess it over your life so that the Lord can just go to work on the inside of you to receive that promise. Or if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ for yourself, I just want to encourage you to pray after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you that you have paid my sin debt in full. And that if I believe with my heart that God raised you from the dead and confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, I will be saved. So I hope you found at least encouragement in this video to just take the next step with the Lord. Just get to know the Lord for yourself and it will radically transform your life and take you from wherever you are. He'll take you however and wherever you are and he will transform you and take you places that you never thought possible. Amen. Amen. I hope you found that word encouraging. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, I just want to please ask you to subscribe to this channel and like and share and just uh, keep this encouraging message going. All right. Take care. God bless.